Pregnant with success is a life changer. Pregnant with success is nutrition. You see, I put all my jungle pussy juices up in there. You might want to take a sip. You might want to take a sip. So, I'm from East New York, Brooklyn. Growing up there is just, you know, just as any other little girl growing up in Brooklyn. Going to school, getting in trouble, liking boys, getting your hair done, like. <laughs> I started rapping in high school. I was in a rap group called P-R-I-M-P, and my name was Shea Hammers. And we got caught cutting class, so I record this freestyle video one day, and the dean found us, and he was like, yeah, now y'all gotta perform at the talent show. And everybody's like, oh yeah, like, I'm performing me. I'm like, no, psych, like I'm not performing. But um, the talent show came and everybody performed except me. I was in the audience just like cheering them on, being mad whack. And <laughs> now I'm the one like fucking performing and making music, so. I graduated high school when I was 16 and I went straight to FIT and that was the only college I applied to. And I was like, I'm gonna be a stylist. Yes, I'm gonna be a designer. I'm gonna do something in the fashion world and I'm gonna be amazing. And after going there, I just realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm like, the fashion industry is mad pretentious, mad shallow, blah, blah, blah. They don't like black people. I mean, music is the same thing, the music industry, but at least this way I have more control over like everything and I have more control over like the way I present myself and the way people perceive me, like, it's just, you know, it's just better this way. I, it's better for me and my self-expression than to do it through fashion, because I could just dress pop it, you know, myself. <laughs> so I really love vegetables. I just love nutrition. It's about energy and life and feeling good. And like, when I chew kale, when I like chew raw greens, my, I'll be like, like, my, my body is just like, yes, this is nothing wrong with this. Chew that, girl. Break it down for me. The name came to me because I had got this popping leopard sweater and this popping leopard fur hat, and I just had matte animal prints on deck. I'm like, I feel like I'm in the jungle. Like, I'm a jungle girl. <laughs> So I just put it as Jungle Pussy, like innocently. I wasn't like, yes, everybody better call me this. This is my new name, Dude, whatever. It wasn't even like that. I just put it as my name on Twitter when Twitter got popping or whatever, and I just went on with my life, tweeting, talking shit, you know? <laughs> Honestly, like dead ass, there's nothing wrong with the name. Like all my life growing up, I've seen lots of men, Dick Clark, Dick Cheney, Dick Dick, all over my TV. And I don't think anything is wrong with just a little pussy because you have pussycat dolls, you have Josie and the Pussycats, you got mad pussy references out there. And Jungle Pussy, like, come on. So um, it started getting serious um, after I dropped my first single ever, which was Cream Team. And I had so many great friends who did music and they would always have me like ad lib or do a skit or do like little fun stuff because I just had that personality to bring to a record. And um, after doing that, people wanted to hear just all me, all I had to offer. So I decided to give it to them. <laughs> so I put my first single out, Cream Team, and after that, shit just got real good. I remember um, Erica Badu posted the video, and she posted like two videos, and then this year again too, she told me she loves me. I'm like, I love you more. <laughs> So Satisfaction Guaranteed was my first full body of work and I wanted to do it. I felt like I just owed it to my, my supporters to give them just ugh, something to just hold on to for me because I was just doing these single stuff, just like feeling the waters or whatever. All the content on there was like a accumulation of like years and years of like different emotions and experiences and just different situations. And I just kind of just um, put it all together there. Pregnant with Success is my new album and I love it. It has been a true like embodiment of the sounds that I hear in my head, like the things that I feel, the things that I've experienced and just like really putting it together nicely just expressing my emotions clearer pregnant with success is definitely you know 
a ode to mothers, to anyone who's ever planted a seed, to anyone who's ever waited patiently for something to come into fruition. You know, you never know what you have inside of you. You never know what's growing in your mind. It's just important for you to just love it unconditionally and just nurture it so it can just be great, you know? <laughs>